and welcome back to my channel. I'm Monica. I am a special ed teacher in Wisconsin and I just share a little bit about my life and my journey and my fantastic adventures. Also, I work at Walmart and that's kind of crazy too. So yeah, whatever happens in my week, I vlog about it. I tell you about it. It's great. If you want to join us, click that subscribe button below. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can get my weekly vlogs and whenever else I post fun things. Currently, I am driving to school. I have two dozen Dunkin' Donuts in hand. The nice thing about working at a small school is whenever I like impulsively go to Dunkin' in the morning, my principal always has me get donuts and then she just pays me back for the donuts and she gives the staff donuts because, hey, wellness! And when it's Monday, it's rough. And today is Monday, so there's, let's see. So if you come today, it's 10 days till like Christmas break. And pretty much it's like, 15 days till Christmas or something like that. Uh, I didn't actually count. Walmart has a countdown usually, but it hasn't been up and it hasn't been accurate. So if Walmart's count isn't accurate, I have no idea what's going on. But anyways, I was intending to vlog a lot earlier, but then it was really, really dark. And then by the time it got lighter and then I reached out and got my camera and yada yada, set it up and it's just sitting on my dashboard right there in this very convenient little spot. I like turn the record on and oh, the memory card's not in. And then at first I was like, oh my God, did I leave it at home? Don't fret friends, I did not leave it at home. I had to wait until I got to the roundabout so I could, you know, safely put the memory card in to continue my safe driving. But yes, I'm on my way to school right now. I have the greatest showman music playing, which I love so much. Um, when I first saw the movie, I was like, I thought for sure it would be kind of like the traveling circus kind of thing because I guess that was like my misconception I guess you could say of what I thought circuses were like I know I mean I know they started in like one spot but I know then they you know Dumbo they move in different areas and uh, like water for elephants where they're moving on the train and so I thought it would be like that and so I was like waiting for whenever they bought the train and the next thing I know then oh the whole movie's over crazy there's nothing really exciting happening today at school. Just a normal Monday, I think. Usually I eat lunch with the school psychologist on Mondays and we just chat about life. She only comes to our school on Monday, but she has an appointment. She doesn't know when she'll be back. So I might not have to eat lunch with her. So then it's just like my whole Monday routine is just not like how it usually is. But otherwise, yeah, I think it's just a normal Monday. Tuesday will be interesting because the choir concert is after school and I haven't decided yet if I'm going to that or not. Usually if we go to after school events, our principal gives us like an hour of leave early time. And so like when I went to deck the halls last week, if you watched my last vlog, I went to deck the halls. So then we get an hour of leave early time for that. But I don't even think I used my leave early time that we got at the beginning of the year when we like went over on conferences. So it's not really like I go to these events for leave early time because I never leave early on time ever. Like if I leave before five o'clock, I'm just very happy. And which is good because like I know, dude, the curb is right here. Why are you passing me? Impatient. It drives me nuts how people drive on these roads. It's a 45 mile an hour road. And then there's a curb right here that's 30. And here I am going 56 and they're passing me. Calm down, we're all gonna get there. Okay, totally lost track of what I was saying. So Tuesday there's a choir concert after school. And so during the day, since we don't have choir every day, it's K1 and 2 that have the choir concert for Christmas, or well, winter holiday, but our school just says Christmas because everyone celebrates Christmas. Not a lot of diversity at my school. So anyways, the choir concert's after school and they don't have music that day. Well, not everyone has music that day. Somebody has music that day. But the choir concert is after school, so they want to take everyone from our climb time, which is like our intervention period, which is kind of annoying because that's like my intensive intervention period that I have with that second grade group that's going to this concert. So, I mean, it's an intensive intervention, but hey, Arts are important, I was in band, I understand that it's important. So, tomorrow I'm gonna have a little bit of free time, which is very uncharacteristic of my time. We all know that whenever I have free time, I feel, like I'm not used to having a prep period. So if I have free time, I feel like, oh no, dead animal. If I have free time, I feel like I'm A, either missing a meeting, or B, I'm just, not being 
like a productive teacher because I never had prep time last year and now that I have a para there's like 15 minute segments here and there where I don't have students and I just feel like everyone's like when people walk by my room because my door is always open and my desk is directly in front of the door I feel like whenever they glance in and they're like hey I like internally feel like they're judging me for not having students and not getting things done and not doing anything because I'm just on my computer but like I mean I can be doing paperwork and progress reports and stuff like that but I still like inside feel like I'm not doing enough like I should have students like all day long I just feel like I'm so important for my school and when we see our yearly reports on like um, for like the state testing or any sort of like school-wide assessments I feel like if there's bad like bad grades bad scores that it's like a reflection on me because I am the only person that's like working with these students besides like their classroom teacher and so I just feel so pressured to like help these kids succeed because like it's me like if this kid doesn't get you know the green average or they're in like the progressing stage or they're not progressing like I feel that's a reflection on me because a I should either be working with that student or b I should start the process so that they can be referred to tier two which oh I'm a coach on so that they can get services through the intervention period or if they've had or if they've had like several interventions in a like 12 week period that are all um, valid interventions that we should maybe start looking into seeing if they can qualify for special education services so I just feel like there's so much pressure on me as like the special teacher and the interventionist to be helping these kids succeed on that note I am gonna get to school and carry my donuts in I realize now that this is fallen and is now at a weird angle but so sorry friends Keep watching. It shall get better, I promise. Stuffed crust pizza, aka best school pizza ever. So my parents just texted me and were like, hey, do you want to go to Olive Garden? I was like, of course I want to go to Olive Garden. What kind of question is that? So it's 410 and I'm basically ready to get out of here. I have most of my life together. Our tier two meeting finished up really quick. Um, the other tier two coach had to go home at like 11 o'clock today because her uh, daughter was puking all over the place. So it was just the principal and I because our school site was at a meeting somewhere else. So we just talked about one student really quick and then we were good to go. I finally stopped dilly dallying and ordered the books off Scholastic I wanted. Finished my intervention logs. I've been procrastinating for like a week. still have progress monitoring worksheets I need to grade from my math group this afternoon, but I can do that later. Otherwise, like, my room is really clean. Uh, my smart board still isn't put all the way up together. So let me show you. Hang up my posters. My principal was actually in here today and was like, oh, your smart board is all covered because we used the smart board for our meeting. And I was like, oh, let me show you how we have to operate here. And then the pocket charts that go on there. Because I only have, these are like over the door hook hangers and I don't have enough that they can have their own. So I just have to switch them out. So there's this pocket chart one and then there's another one behind here that I use. And then the ones I'm using for that day, depending on if it's grade one or two. So grade two, they don't need this poster. They know all their sounds. So the pocket for, for grade two goes over here because they need these are controlled vowels. But then foundations one, my first graders, they don't need this poster, but they definitely need this poster. So it just depends on what kids. So these just kind of move around as needed. But yeah, I'm ready to go. I really don't have much to grade. Um, finally got these laminated and cut out and my kids are tutoring we're just having freak out moments because they didn't know their multiplication facts and I only have like three of them and they just couldn't share even though one girl knows all her facts she's just not confident at it but yeah I finally got this put together for some of my students that finish a little earlier than others it's and then for other friends, we have sight words they can work on. So if you watch any of my other vlogs, um, I talked about how uh, like probably a month ago, several students from our district died actually. And we just got the cutest little care package from another district. 
cute cards. They're like handmade by students. Little snacky snacks. It's very nice that they were thinking of us. So I want to shut my lights off and I'm gonna go eat some Olive Garden and enjoy the voice tonight. The weather currently is at that stage where even though your phone's at 70 some percent battery it'll just randomly die because it's so cold out. Oh January February is gonna be rough. You always like think you can handle it and then it comes and they're like I'm back. And then spring comes and it's 60 degrees and it's just like a sauna because you're just so used to freezing your butt off all the time. Well, it's less boring than what you're doing now. Not very good at cutting the lettuce. So today is Christmas concert day. So that's at 5.30. So I have tutoring till 4 tonight. So I will do tutoring and then I will just, I'll just stick around here and then go to the Christmas concert after. It's probably only like an hour. It's only like kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. And so that'll be probably so cute. So in the mornings, I usually have some math kids and another friend joined us from our tier two meeting last night. So now I have three math kids and then there's a kindergarten in here as well working with my para. And so right now, we're working on a single digit multiplication. And for the most part, my students are really getting it. And now it's just like the silly multiplication errors where like, they know their facts or if they don't know their facts they can use a chart and that they're not using their multiplication chart correctly and they say like 9 times 7 is 12 or something where they just totally miss the fact <laughs> but they're getting the process down and that's that's really important i don't know how i go from clean desk area and clean table to like this in a matter of hours but for tutoring tonight we're doing odd numbers graphs reading your menu and deciding like if you get a soda and fries how much is it going to cost you and then if they get done we're doing skip counting second yes yeah, second graders we're ordering numbers from least to greatest because a lot of them still aren't quite sure when they're saying the numbers like 27 and 46 some of them can't actually say that it's 46 even though they're in second grade so then if they're having to order them then they're at least having to think about it and then we're just working on um, basic number lines, addition, subtraction, story problems. My fourth and fifth graders are working on some larger three digit, four digit addition, subtraction, and it's actually in a crossword, so that's kind of cool. And then we're doing multiplication as well. Cookie spoils me. She gives me more than this. <laughs> but I don't actually have those bridged out yet because I forgot, so gotta remember to do that. But now I'm off to number corner, so I have to remember after number corner when I come back here and I have fourth graders that I have to remember that I need to do, get my multiplication life together before I forget. The best thing that you should have in your desk as a teacher is popcorn. Because if you're like me and you forgot that you were, oh, I just got popcorn on the floor. If you're like me and you forget a lunch or you just don't feel like packing lunch or you don't want to go to the gas station to buy lunch, popcorn's like a filling food that'll hold you until you can get to the nearest McDonald's when you're done with the choir concert. So here's the aftermath of tutoring. And somebody was nodding and had to go in the turtle box. The kids at tutoring tonight were just wild and one in particular so he had to go into the turtle box which usually is like a calm corner but i ended up dragging it into the room we used for tutoring because this kid wasn't doing his work and was just being a total distraction so he had to sit in there with a clipboard and do his work which he didn't like because he was missing out on his computer time because our rotations are reading math computer and it was his computer rotation and he was stuck finishing his reading portion that he didn't do before because he was too busy distracting others and burping and all sorts of boy type behaviors. Okay so the concert is done and I'm just uh, sitting here waiting for all the cars to get out of the parking lot and out of the road. Our parking lot at our school is pretty small so when we have any sort of after school event involving parents there's just cars parked like way down the road and it's not worth trying to get out at a decent time. But yeah, it was a really good concert, and so I'm going to insert some of those clips right here. So if you don't want to listen to my kids singing, feel free to skip on ahead. But if you want to hear some really cute kindergarten, first, second, and third grade sing, you have come to the right place. I just realized I cannot end the vlog here. I didn't tell you about the most hilarious thing that happened today. One, a kid was wearing her hat. Okay.
Okay. That was weird. Usually they give you your soda first, but now they have to carry out a giant bag of food and two large sodas. Mmm, that's kind of weird. But, okay. Anyways, what I was saying... Um, what was I saying? Oh, at recess, a bunch of girls were playing, like, horses or ponies or unicorns, something like that. And they were, like, galloping around on two feet. Down on four. Two feet. So they're galloping around playing, and then they're, one of them, their hat kind of just, like, slipped below their eyes a little bit. And the kid was like, meh, whatever. And they kept just running around. And the kid ran right into a swing set pole. And she, like, bleeding all over the place, busted her knee. But that wasn't the funny part. That was sad because she was hurt. I mean, probably nothing broken or anything. Just, you know, for a second grader, that's kind of scary kind of painful but then while all this hubbaloo is going on two second graders are like hey I dare you to lick the pole so across the playground on a different swing set these two boys are licking the pole now it's like 10 degrees out so thankfully their tongue did not get stuck to the pole but then to make matters worse they're going around daring other kids and like oh I bet you're not gonna go stick your tongue in the pole and most of them are like little kindergartners that are like I don't want to stick my tongue on the pole. So they got written up because they were trying to bribe kids slash threaten them into licking a pole. Recess, man. Like, the stories you can tell.
So I think this is going to be a really long vlog, so I think I'm going to end it here. And I have a really cute picture that I put on Instagram of this thing, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Thanks for watching, and uh, check back tomorrow, and there'll be another one. Bye!